In this tutorial, we will be creating a new SOLIDWORKS simulation study called Frequency Analysis. So in this study, we will be um, getting the software to calculate the resonant frequency that uh, this structure uh, will have. Okay, and also it will compute for you the different mode shapes, okay, whether are they bending mode shapes or twisting mode shapes. Okay, so once again, okay, just like previously, to create a new simulation study, make sure your SOLIDWORKS simulation add-in is turned on. Okay, and let's do a new study. Okay, and this time round, I'm going to do a frequency study. So activate frequency and give it a name. So I shall call it frequency and hit OK. Now, uh, we need to set up the model just like how we have done previously. Okay, the good thing about SOLIDWORKS simulation is if you have done the setup earlier, you can actually go back to copy the different fixtures and loads and paste it into our current study. So what we can do is, okay, we go to stress analysis. Okay, if I want to copy the fixtures over, just right click on fixtures, go to copy. Okay, you notice the new study that I just created, the frequency study. Turn it on. Okay, go to fixtures. Okay, and paste the fixtures in. Okay, there you go. The fixtures are there. Okay, and we will do the same for the uh, loads. So right click on external loads, go to copy. Okay, go to this new frequency study that we have. Okay, and paste the external loads here. There you go. Okay, now um, sometimes you may need to access um, different, no, the different study properties. So to do that, you just right click on the very first, uh, the top menu. Okay, we go to properties. Okay, this is where we can change, um, you know, the kind of solvers that we want. Okay, and we can also change the number of res um, natural frequencies okay, that you want the software to compute. So let's say I would like 10 different kinds of frequencies to be calculated. Okay, just select 10 and hit OK. So once we are ready, we will do the mesh and run. So because we are running, uh, we are getting the software to calculate 10 different frequencies, okay, it may take a slightly longer time for this analysis to be solved. Also, you have, um, if you play around with the settings, you're able to control the mesh size as well. So the smaller the mesh, okay, or the finer the mesh okay, that um, you have selected, okay, you, uh, the simulation time will, will become longer. Okay, so the simulation looks like it's going to end soon. Okay, so it is done. Alright, so uh, we are able to plot the different mode shapes okay, for this design. So, you know, you can have different mode shapes. For example, if you want to see what is mode shape 7, it looks like this. Mode shape 8 it looks like this. Mode shape 9, okay, the whole structure will start to twist. Okay. And the good thing about SOLIDWORKS simulation is you're able to view an animation okay, to see uh, you know, what kind of deformation is taking place okay, during uh, this particular frequency. Okay. And uh, you may also want to find out okay, the exact values okay, of uh, this different frequency. Now if you take a look at the different mode shapes, okay, let's say if I go to mode shape 7, Right on top here, they will tell you what this frequency is. So for 40.75 Hz, okay, this is the kind of shape you should experience in your structure. Okay, and you can also display it out you, under the results folder. Just right click on results and select list resonant frequencies. Okay, and there you go. These are the whole range of frequencies that we have computed.